Assalamu alaikum, this is Uma Faruqi. Today we're going to talk about gamification assessments. So the first thing is, what's the difference? So traditionally, we, we're used to either doing our assessments on paper, English, Maths, IQ, you know, 30 minute tests, 20 minute tests, or digitally as well in recent times. But you must have seen the past two, three years, we moved to gamified assessments. While the traditional approach measures your English, math, and IQ ability. The gamification assessment measures your learning agility, learning ability, ability to adapt in situations, ability to take crisis, ability to handle different situations without coming in pressure. So naturally, there's a big difference in terms of how you have to prepare for both assessments. So this calls for the second question. What does gamification actually measure? Like I said, gamification measures your English, math, and IQ, but also measures your learning agility and ability. Having worked in top organizations in Pakistan and HR, I can guarantee you that the organizations are not just looking for your basic English and math or IQ. They're looking for EQ now. They're looking for your agility. They're looking for how fast you can adapt, how fast you can respond. Are you quick or not? So that's why this gamification assessment comes in. There's a lot of criticism. Okay, how does clicking a space bar 100 times in one minute make a difference to my application? It does. There's a science behind it. So gamified assessments will give you quick and immersive and fast challenges that you have to fulfill in, in a certain period of time. It can, it can include your math, your English, basic punctuation, and grammar. But at the same time, it reveals your agility. And that's what companies are looking for. A lot of companies have emotional intelligence, um, learning agility as their core competences and traditional method of assessment doesn't give that. So the third and most important and frequent question is where can you practice it to ace it? See this is something that is ingrained in you over your schooling years. Your English, your math, your IQ, they're very basic questions. This is something that you must have learned in your primary school and you know you don't the gamified assessments actually give you a chance to not actually focus on math, IQ or English per se, but focus on how fast you respond to those, how fast you can answer those questions and how uh, you can understand the question and do it uh, with changing situations. So I would recommend to try GMAT, to try SAT or any other set of questions that can improve your basic understanding of math and English. Apart from this, you can try different websites to understand the nature of questions in gamified assessment. You can visit and practice cognitive assessment via gamification uh, in front of you. So this one I personally like, Mind Metric Gamified Assessments. You can always go for the free trial or you can uh, take a package and learn. So if you can see some of the examples, the gamified assessments. Um, this measures your cognitive ability in different ways, how fast you respond, how easy it is for you to understand different ways to, the game works, shape spinner, word logic, obviously it measures, it checks your vocab as well. Then there is Rebellion which um, is software that Engo also follows. You can practice uh, from their website as well. You will see questions similar to this. You have to place um, it in boxes. So uh, once you browse through the website, you can see their products and you can practice as well. Assessment day. You can play memory cards over here and then once you click on practice test now you will go to the this page in which you will have an option to go free free full numerical test verbal test logical test and uh, i would recommend you to focus on those tests which measure which have games you know because that is the future that will measure your cognitive ability and those are the tests that uh, most of the multinationals and big companies are following okay you can make an account and then move forward from there so the point is there are plenty of 
options online where you can go and practice the tests. 12 minute prep. See, these, these, these sort of games, they measure how, uh, how quick you are, how fast your mind works. If you like the content, if you think it helped you, just click subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss out on this content. This will also allow me in the future to professionally help you. Fourth, what are the benefits of gamification assessment? First, it delivers a highly engaging candidate experience. Gone are the days when you give manual 40 minute tests. Um, it's entertaining, sometimes it's you know engaging. Second, it enhances the employer brand. Third, it provides dynamic feedback on set of population, um, you know, the potential candidates, on where does the market stand, where is the IQ level, where is the EQ level, where what is the general math and English score in the population. So the company can set their standards. And benchmarks accordingly and most importantly it is great for those who have always hated maths uh, as a way of entry to any organization uh, there are a lot of people who are great at marketing graphic designing who are great at the creative side who don't like maths they've always hated and they're perfect fit for the company but they've always hated that criteria to ace advanced level of Pythagoras theorem <laughs> to get into the company and this is a great way, gamified assessments, to actually gauge their learning agility and ability rather than uh, their understanding of math to get into the company. So I hope this video helps you in understanding gamified assessments. Now you know what is the difference between traditional testing and gamified assessment. Now you know why is it important, how your learning ability and agility uh, is being tested. Um, now you know which sites to go to to understand the questions now you know that um, it's actually your natural ability to answer the questions and respond in different uh, situations that is being tested rather than just math and English I hope it helps you I'll be welcoming your questions if there's any detail that you need and I'll be happy to answer thank you